Hi everyone, so today I will explain to you the disposals through pod exchange. A pod exchange agreement arises where an old asset is provided in pod payment for a new one. The balance of a new asset is then paid in cash. The reduction in purchase price is known as the pod exchange allowance, abbreviated as PEA. We will look at an example later on, but for now we will look at the double entries. Steps for the pod exchange. The first step is to remove the original cost of a disposed asset from the non-current assets balance. Non-current assets are debits in the SFB and therefore to reduce that balance you need to credit non-current assets and debit the disposals account. SFP means Statement of Financial Position and SPL is referred as Statement of Profit and Loss. The second step is to remove the accumulated depreciation of a disposed asset from the accumulated depreciation account. This account has a credit balance in the SFP and therefore to reduce this, you debit the accumulated depreciation account and credit your disposals. The third step is to record the part exchange allowance as proceeds and part of a new asset. You would debit the non-current asset and credit your disposals account. Sometimes the figure is not given to you and therefore how to calculate this is by taking the cost of a new asset minus the cash you have paid. The fourth step is to record the cash balance paid for the new asset and you debit the non-current assets and credit cash. The disposals account looks like this, where the balancing figure will either be a profit or a loss on disposal. The profit will be on the left because the double entry for that is debit disposal credit PL. Any credits in the PL are considered as income. Loss on disposal is on the right because the double entry is debit PL credit disposal. Any debits in the PL are expenses and therefore explains the allocation. A quick formula for your exams is to calculate the profit or the loss on disposal by taking the PEA minus the carrying value. PEA is the pod exchange allowance. If we look at question together, Nigel has an ice cream shop. During 2015, he pod exchanged his old ice cream van for a new one. The year end is the 31st of December 2015, and he exchanged his old van and paid the remaining balance cash for $16,000. There's a table which gives you important information. First, the date of purchase for the old and the new van. The cost of the old van and the new van. The depreciation methods used for each van. And also the accumulated depreciation to the date of disposal. 7,500. Show the ledger entries. First, you need to figure out your double entries. If you remove the original cost of the disposed asset from the non-current assets, this is given to you in the table. If 
15,000 for the old noun. So you debit disposals and credit your non-current assets. The second step is to remove the accumulated depreciation. This figure is also given to you. 7,500 at the date of disposal. So you debit accumulated depreciation and credit disposals. The third step is to record the PEA. It is just like proceeds. However, this is in the form of assets. So instead of debiting the bank, you are debiting the non-current assets account. In this case, the figure is not given to you, but you know from the table, the cost of a new van is 23,000 and the cash that you have paid for it is 16,000 and the remaining balance is therefore the value of the old van that you have exchanged, also known as PEA. Here you get 7,000 and you will debit your non-current assets and credit your disposals. The fourth step is to calculate the amount that you are going to pay, which is also given to you, 16,000. Therefore, you credit cash because cash is going out and you debit your non-current asset. You can illustrate the double entries by using T accounts. You have a cost accumulated to depreciation and disposals accounts. The brought forward was given to you in the cost account and you have to remove the disposal and record the cash and PEA. This comes up to a balance of 23,000 which equals to the cost of a new van. And therefore, this explains the logic behind the double entries. Accumulated depreciation, the brought forward was given to you. You need to remove that balance and also input the depreciation charge for the new van, which is 20% straight line times 23,000 as the cost. Disposals. You have a cost accumulated depreciation of a disposed asset, also the PEA, and the balancing figure is the loss on disposal. Using the quick way, that is a formula, you take 7,000 PEA minus the carrying value of the disposed assets, which is given to you as 15,000 and 7,500 and therefore you get the same answer. I hope this tutorial was useful to you and if you would like more videos don't forget to click on subscribe below and even write any videos you suggest for me to do in the future. Thank you very much and I'll see you next time.